lot of work. All right, you guys, wait till Dad gets back in here and start this. This is four hours ago, 20 views in four hours. I don't even, that's not even a view a fucking hour. A little over a view an hour, I think. I'm not good with old math. So, uh, this video right here is four hours ago, and very nice to see the money that changed. Now you're back to your usual shtick. Walking around talking about your cars. You know, I'm doing tire changes, the oil changes, Mr. Obvious, back to this. No actual work being shown. Just walk around talking about, I got, I got, I got to do this, I got to do that, I got to do this, I got to do that. When the fuck are you ever going to get to it? Four years and you haven't done shit. Besides pay people to put gravel in. Pay people to do this. Even though you stated in videos that you don't pay people to do, you guys do your own work. So I'm like kind of confused on what the fuck this video is even for. You've gained one new sub, so you can't even say it's for my new subscribers. Hey Barry, 20. 20, and then I'm gonna make you eat them fucking words. Should never say that shit to me, Barry. How's that sword doing? Are you still practicing with it? Ding, dang, doo. Like the Nina Jones reference there, Barry. I thought of that just for you, buddy. Sorry, Dad. Barry, it's back to his usual stick now. Is he whining, begging, or fucking... Make up excuses. Nope. It, uh, well, it makes excuses, but now he's just doing the same thing he's been doing for four years, walking around talking about his cars. What he's got, what he's got to do. I figured once he got this big $100,000 settlement that, you know, carports would go up like he said and all this other bullshit. He didn't get all that settlement. He, he said in one of his lives he was supposed to get 30 grand. Well, if you got 30 grand, if your settlement was 30 grand, your lawyer automatically got th at least a third of that. Any hospital bills got paid out of that, and you get what's left. If you had a mediator, it gets paid out of that. So he, he probably got ten or twelve thousand dollars. Hence why he bought some gravel and ain't did shit else. Welcome back, everybody. And no, he, he can lie to anybody that's stupid enough to believe that he's making a so boatload of money off of YouTube. But look at his views. Day, exactly seven one cents week. a view. Last Sunday was Father's Day, and a week later, we haven't done much uh, as far as videos, but. Uh, We've been busy. Why didn't you go past the gate, Barry? You don't sound very happy, man. Are you okay? Cut the grass. Compressing it into you? The parking lot here was a lot of work. Grab one off of that. You didn't do uh, none of it. You paid to have it done. What do you mean? Your own video is more lies, dude. More fucking lies. Get them all Look. lined up. Skylark, this look what's on the window. The back right there. And that's when he fixed the roof on. So that, no, it, that's the, the 45 one. one. The uh, base one. Ranger, but that, door. yeah, but that proves the, the uh, point that it's a rusty there, pile of shit and it leaks. Get that fired up and get that going. The on the 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 anyway. He wraps it through the doors. Through the window. I mean, there's a gas tank. There's a gas tank and a clutch and a brake line. And needs quarters. Well, why is it making you a gas tank now? It ran, it ran just fine last year. So what's to do with the gas tank now? Got a hole in it? Fuck. Then when Skylark, that's a running and driving car. Where the Grand Prix is. Truck. Look at how rusty. Bonneville needs some shock uh, tower. Work in the rear and a little bit of work on the cell frame. And hey, Dad, let's think about something. Think about all the money that they've put into buying tarps. Who in the fuck in the right mind would fix that fucking Bonneville? Go on Facebook Marketplace right now, type in that exact Bonneville, and look what you can buy for $1,500. Bucks. Who in their fucking right mind would do a framework and sock towers on that fucking car? Well, who the fuck would fix a 74 Plymouth Fury? I mean... Do framework work on it. I mean, there's, there's people that would. I mean, a two-door Fury, I mean... A four-door like he's got. Nobody. I mean, unless it's all you had. Not, not, not... Can't, if it just needs a framework, maybe, but that car don't just need framework, dude. He goes on to say what it needs here in a minute. I mean, 
Hey, bro, I thought that Skylark was solid. Just need paint. Uh, if it's leaking, it needs more than paint. Have you seen the back fucking window in it? I mean, exactly. the roof's rotted down on it. Well, my question is this, Dad. They, instead of buying the metal and fixing these cars right, they just buy tarps. Instead of fixing a car, instead of fixing a car, he's always just parked it and bought another car because the man truly believes quantity or quality. That it makes him something to have 85 junk cars instead of having five nice cars. That he's better than a person with five nice cars because he has 85 cars. No family loving him. I mean, they love him, but no family wants anything to do with him because he's a man. scammer and a hustler. Yep. And a thief. No, a system. I mean, electrical system. He thinks having 85 uh, cars is his cool life system. value. He needs a lot of work. The Cadillac's finally done. My son's driving that. Damn, he's just sitting in it right Truck's now. Truck's fixed now. Got the links working. Rocker's falling off of it. Got snow floors. The frame bowed. Gary right. needs a bunch of work. Four pan work and some subframe work. Some bushings. Nobody besides the crackhead. That car there, nobody yeah. would do anything with that. That's a demo car. You're they would demo the storm that bitch. Coming in or Somebody get twenty five hundred dollars check in some bitch for a demo car. Transmission in it, dry shaft. It needs uh Oh boy, fuel system. Uh, it needs framework. And worked on. You could say it don't, but it does. Tires. I mean, brake system. That'll be on the road. This one here needs a lot of work. Eighty-one box body. With Listen, music. folks. Does this seem like a garage video? It needs. Uh, it's more walking brakes, and talking. Uh, because that's all system, he's capable system, of. He is not uh, capable of system, actually swapping motors. And uh, I mean, it'll be back on the road. Tires. Oh, yeah, now there's going to be a video pop up with a magical engine in one of these cars, and you'll say he swapped it. Yeah, I'm talking about these no proof. pup tents here. I don't know. I should pull the covers off. They're not they're pup tents, you fucking re The wind is going to pick it up and carry it Don't you know what the fuck you're talking about. Again. I should pop these off. He's going to tie it to the ground so it rips to shreds. At least make it to where they just don't uh, hang on very good when the wind kicks up. Oh, look at that. Look at how sick this cat is, Dad. <laughs> it's literally puking Good up white mama. shit. Those are all inbred. Look, I mean, it's that identical to the cat, dude. Smoke, are you all right? Smoke. Well, he looks mean today. Inbred, dude. Fucking inbred right. cats, dude. This man talks about more kittens dying really than catchy. anybody should be really allowed to get away with. I'm going to put this rope down and I mean, tie it so it doesn't take off and... I lose the cover completely. Oh yeah, they're on there really good. <laughs> you make sure they just barely sit on there. What do you want for fifty bucks from Harbor Freight, dude? Fifty nine dollars. I mean, are you okay? Look at that. He don't give these animals any shots. You he, he he probably listen. This man is a genius. I promise. He puts out rat poison in his basement. Then the mice eat the poison. Then his cats eat the poison mice. I mean. Yeah, fucking tea, dude. He has poison it's, out for mountain for It's months. literally drooling. It's really like fucking yeah, like dead, probably, like dying. It probably ate ten fucking arsenic poison fucking mice or rats, it's, and it's poisoning. It. Slowly but surely, it's poisoning them fucking animals. He's fucking pathetic. I mean, you gonna bite me? You can't have that much shit mm, loaded up in your fucking house you know and not have mice and rats. I don't give a fuck how many cats you got. You go up on me today. It looks sick. Usually not that mean. Mean? Were you trying nipping at him or something that I missed? I mean, it's fucking sick. You all ever seen a cat drool like that? A normal cat? Uh, there's another kid. <laughs> I got kittens everywhere. There's three gray ones. There's a black one. Then there's another tiger stripe one. That all be fucking and each other in six months. Days. I mean, the, and we're uh, we talking about his nature. Doing some, uh, I'm good. You can see. Oh yeah, bear. Over here, yeah, where I sprayed it, is. it where it's all dead. You killed the grass, you idiot! Not a fucking weed. A lot. Not a weed is dead. So, yeah. All you killed was the grass. Gotta get some more out. I mean, that stuff's toxic, man. God. Or the cats have ate the fucking shit on the shit. ground. That and had and some weed killer. Off and That's probably it. Car you know it's what what it's a man. So we gotta get that going. Listen, Dad. He has a rollback. He Listen, has. Listen, man. You put weed killer on the ground. You're supposed to do that way with animals and shit. You, you're not supposed to do that anywhere where it can rain and water run off and pool and your animals lick that shit up. Read the bottle, man. I mean, I'm a true country boy. I mean, fuck, hey. man. 
this man has rollbacks and tow trucks, right? He's going to clean out that busted ass fucking trailer that I have to haul a man. Because they're not the working the on the road. Stuff out you here can't even see his house enough. in the jungle. Look at the weeds, dude. How long do you think it would take with the weeder just to go to there? Really? Like, boo, 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 an African. It would take an African and he can weed the whole property. Stuff out here in case it's up. Dad, does that rough like it look like it's holding up? Fuck no. Or does it look that's like it's starting to turn to a bowl? Listen, that's my point. You got, I don't care, man. If if, if anybody was Perry Beamer and would have got 10 grand, they would have at least went to Menards or got on Facebook and found somebody selling metal. And they would have put metal on their fucking roof. I mean, you anybody could put metal on this roof. It, it has one pitch. You would need a drip edge and ridge cap. That's it. Straight pieces, bang, 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 all the way down. You would have spent fucking 600 bucks on metal and ripped your house. Winter's coming. You know you're as fuck. Anybody with fucking a, a fifth grade education and that much IQ would understand, look, I need to put the money in this roof on this house. Plus, Ryan's going to have the house, and we all know the motherfucking kid can't fucking take care of a fucking hamster, let alone a fucking house, and cut the grass. I mean... He's a fucking idiot. He is a true definition of what you never want your child to grow up to be. Barry Beamer. That's his role model in life. That's the example he sets. I don't want my kids to be anything like this motherfucker. I mean, he's a fucking moron. Hey, Dad. Does that roof look level to you still? It's like it's starting to pitch All in. All old houses like that. Houses built in the 80s and it ain't been taken care of. The roof's been leaking for over a year. Er, er, I guarantee it's been leaking ever since that fucking tree fell on it in certain spots. So. But it's starting to look like a bowl to me. Just looking at it, it looks like it pitches it, it, into the where, right where it hit. All old houses get away from them, man. I mean, especially when they're neglected. And this house is neglected. The gutters aren't cleaned. I mean, which means that when it rains, I mean, well, look at my house. I just noticed, not having gutters, dude. I know it's what the fuck. <laughs> I mean, hey. the, 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 the opposite of not having gutters is having gutters that's plugged up. So when it rains, the water backflows in that shit and runs look, down your Look right where socket. your hand is. Right where you're just pointing, look. What? Over, right over this way. Right as the two pieces, right as the two rooms meet. Look at the siding. Look where it's starting to rot away at the top, right by the roof. Yeah, Sit. Right here. Yep. I mean, yeah, it's going to. That's what I'm talking about. Because water's back feeding in there, and it's running down the house. So it starts running behind the siding. Starts running down. Look how wavy the mean, siding is. Yeah, right where that's at. Yeah. Look at the line. That's what I'm talking about. He don't clean his gutters, man. And then these two meet, but they don't. It doesn't overstep. Yeah. So, if you don't have a cap on this one and it runs, it's going to run into this, then it's going to run back this way, and then it's going to run down. And you can obviously see that's what's happening by the siding. Look at the siding. I mean. Never mind, we won't even discuss the porch that you need to get into the house. I mean, he's, he, he, he's pathetic, man. I mean. And for this man to talk about, I'm making all this money, he really looks more dumb than he's ever looked. You're making all this money but don't with, have a nice, with, with 30 views a video at 7 cents a view. But don't have a nice house, a nice, a nice car, a you nice shop. You haven't put any money into your house. You haven't put any money into anything, dude. That, that's important. You haven't put up carports. You haven't done anything. Well, here. You, you bought some tarps and some, well, and some $59 car Let's just do this, dude. And spent about 350 bucks on gravel. Let's do this, dude. I mean... I can name drop right now, Dad, but name one YouTuber that doesn't have a lift that's a big-time YouTuber. I don't know. Well, I can think of one, but doesn't have, a a doesn't have a nice shop, at least. I can name a couple. That are huge YouTubers that don't have a concrete floored shop that are constantly working around. You didn't say nothing about concrete floor. I'm saying, fuck the, fuck the lift. I ever thought that one. What about a nice shop, though? With, with a concrete floor. Concrete, we don't mean a nice shop. I can think of two or three that have just an average shop. But they work on it, but they make, they're a big-time YouTuber, right? Yeah. Barry don't even have that. He has that. He has a shop just like most of the YouTubers got. He's got a garage with a slab that's not falling down. His garage is in better shape than his fucking house is. Like, Structurally. He could turn in the grandpa and build a fucking house I mean, out of the garage. That's what he's thinking. Guys, I know exactly what Barry's thinking. The house will fall in by the time he's dead. Ryan can use that back room as a house. There we go. I can think of, of YouTubers that are bigger than Barry oh, that don't even have a garage garage. Yeah, you got a form. Green. Right? I'm you got a more successful 
I want to know. Have a pump arm. I mean, they don't have anything. I mean, but they have maybe a lean to. I know one that does work on Novas and, and, and old Chevys, like 56, 57 Chevys. And he does it in a, in a fucking carport on the side of his house. And he's a pretty successful YouTuber. Yep. I mean. I'm going to take the whole canopy with it. <laughs> it's not what you got. You don't have to have to be a YouTuber. You have to have the content. You have to be more than. This city. So that's what we. Uh, My question you know, is very much bragging. Why are they talking about the Club Cadets sitting there? Wind and rain. We've had a good week. It's just been really hot. And we'll see in the next one, guys. You need a hug, Barry. You sound sad, bud. He does, doesn't he? He sounds sad. I mean. Aww. You fucking have destroyed your son's YouTube channel, the second one, at least the second one. Because you've been doing this for 14 years, going on 15. I mean. Oh, the poor bastard. I heard he's on his live talking about fucking, talking about, oh, uh, we don't know if we're going to keep doing YouTube. Ryan don't want to go out and make videos, and, and, and I don't know if I want to continue doing this no more. And, and instead of taking any responsibility for any of this, he blames every fucking body else. The man could have stopped this shit. Months ago, he could have stopped this shit. If the man had any brains at all, he could have stopped. All he has to do is come out, explain, own the shit he said. And explain So it don't look like he's a lying piece of shit saying, I didn't say anything. They're, they're calling me all this. They're, they're liars. Not going to make me know, never mind, but. And then, no, it, listen, all he has to do is come out and own the shit he said, explain why it's not racist, explain why it's okay that a 61 year old man wants to fuck a 16, 17, 18 year old kid. Explain why that's okay. And he could have got ahead of this. He could get ahead of it now, but he can't do it because even if he owns it, <laughs> how's he going to explain it away? How is he going to make the world think that it's okay that Barry, a 61-year-old, a 62-year-old man, talking about fucking a 15, 16, 17, 18-year-old kid? Okay, society's never going to, the good society is never going to agree with the way Barry feels about kids. He can't get behind this. He, uh, but he he's could stuck. try. He's stuck like Chuck. If, if he sees, if, if Barry himself truly sees nothing wrong with it, why ain't you the pedophile out here talking about, well, I love these kids? I mean, no, you're hiding because you're ashamed because you know it's wrong. You know your mom would not like it. You know nobody's going to accept it unless they're like you. Yep. How are you going to explain that you're not racist, Barry? How are you going to say you're not? When you said the fucking shit you said about black people and mixed race kids. Take some responsibility, man. You might get a little further. I haven't, I haven't checked early out his live, live today, so I don't know what he's talking on there. He's live right now. Let's finish this out and move on to the next one. Simplicity. Yeah, we got one grease fitting greased. 1980s simplicity. Oh, that's a moving video. You can see where it oozed out right there. Then the grease gun ran out. So we got to get some more grease and that grease gun. And get it. Uh, re I'm glad he brought the grease gun because I've been meaning to point this out. Ryan spent $400 on that Lincoln grease gun, right? Again, they have a DeWalt battery. They could have bought a DeWalt grease gun for half the price. Well, they got a grease, electric grease gun now. Yeah, they've had it. It's that blue Lincoln fucking grease gun. But it's like a $500 grease gun. What does it make when you have a fucking DeWalt battery? A DeWalt. In the Roadrunner, we got a couple different choice uh, engines Listen. for two different uh, motorhomes. We'll get going on that. That's been sitting for years. And we know it. You don't got to tell us. <laughs> We know what we got to do. We just, uh, you know, got to get on it. It's just, it's been so hot lately, and today it's a cool. Okay, Barry, what about the past four fucking years? Okay, it's hot today. It wasn't hot in November. It wasn't hot in December. It wasn't hot in January. It wasn't hot in February. It wasn't hot in March. It wasn't hot in April. It wasn't even hot in May. It didn't get hot till this month here. I do want to say something. Thanks to the subscribers that go over and heckle this man, because he deserves it. And it thank you, to a nicer and thank you guys for going over and keep pointing out that this fucking Roadrunner is a pile of shit sitting rotting away that Barry will never do anything with unless Ryan's Capital One card come his next one comes in and then they'll pay somebody to do the work because father and son ain't putting no fucking engine in on camera. He's on not film. pulling an engine out of a motorhome unless he tears the front of it off. Not this motherfucker. Right? Oh, not Mako, by himself. Mako Mako fucking point. Mako's dad pointed out. What do you think about that, huh? He was gonna give these fucking motorhomes to his buddies, so they. But he hasn't even made no attempt to pull the engines. Right. 
It's more, look at me, I'm a good dude, but I'm not gonna do shit because it's hard out. You do what I do, man. You you wait till the fucking evenings or you put your shit in the shade. I mean, I take breaks. Buck up, dude. I mean, no, you can't buck up. You've never been made to man up. Well, that's what we're doing. Tell now. He, he doesn't sound very happy, does he, Dad? He Maybe sounds. You should go get some counseling. I mean, he sounds. I don't want to tell he sounds very sad. Like I said, you can you can you can shut this shit down. Come out and own up to this shit you said. Quit making it look like you didn't do nothing or say nothing. And looking stupid. To when people do come find our channel, they see he's a liar. They see that he did say this shit. I just fucking thought of something. What happened about the time machine? I thought he was gonna put a fucking thing in that this week and get it out. Well, and man, he, he's not gonna do anything, dude. The man's gonna get weed killer. Half ass mix it up. Go buy a half ass a, a sprayer. Walk around. Spray his fucking weed so when it rains, it makes puddles and his cats lick up these fucking puddles and his dogs and they slowly die over time because they're slowly getting poisoned by this weed killer. Or they're eating the fucking rats that's been poisoned. I mean, he's going to walk around and kill all his grass and leave the weeds to grow. Yeah, because he's been using weed killer. I don't see any I mean, weeds that are dead. No, he's friend. only killing the grass. Look around. He's only killing the little shit. Why wouldn't you do this? Why wouldn't you fire up your weed whacker and cut the big weeds down and then spray everything once down on the level man, ground? The man got a little sprayer and instead of taking the little hand pump bottle that's made to spray your fucking flower bed with or your rock garden instead of dumping it in with the rest and mixing it all together and spraying once he walks around going <laughs> I mean He's Willy Lumplum. He's an idiot. So we're not going to do the rest of this because they just walks around and shows some more cats and nothing really interesting. But, Barry, you might want to get that cat some help. The cat's fucking dying, dude, and you're a pitiful fucking pet owner. You make fucking all pet owners look bad. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment, you know what I mean? Them guys are nasty, you know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh my God, they got these. They get these what they call ring worms in their head. Oh my God, and the talk about lice. Oh my God, and the women are just as bad. Oh God, no! I was like, I want to. Oh, they stink that bad. Oh, and their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, I had one of them. Them. I didn't do anything to them. I know, but the language. Any time, boy! Any time! Come on, Dan, let's go! This is in the 70s, Dan. Coward! Scared me! Hey, it takes a bigger man to walk. He's got his camera off! <laughs> kind of weird you want to fuck a 25 year old. What's your mouth? Come the fuck on, around. motherfucker! <laughs> Sir, go on, please. Go on, Please, Dad, come on, let's go. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Dad, come on. You come to my show? You run your goddamn cocksuckers? Yeah, you, motherfucker. Please, Dad. Come on, Dad, there's some bidet heat. Come on, Dad, come on. Come on, Dad. 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 Come on,